everybody, this is Kaizoku, also known as Jesse, doing a video for Gamers Bro. Wanted me to talk about Bandicam. So, here is Bandicam right now as I have it. We're going to start from the left and work our way forward. First thing I want to go about is I'm targeting right now with the rectangle on a screen. That's just so I can capture multiple boxes. When you're just filming a game, you want to target the game, DirectX, OpenGL window, and that'll work a lot better than just putting a square around a windowed game or something. Plus, I always play with a windowed game instead of a full screen. First of all, on general, this is just where you want to save all your footage. After you're done filming, as soon as you stop filming, it saves the footage to this folder, whatever you have put in. It's pretty basic. Now this is where everything gets technical. So with recording, that's just your button that you want to record and stop. When you stop, it saves it. Hide your mouse cursor. You need to see my mouse for this. Yeah, let's do mouse click effects. Sure, why not? Settings. Record sound. Vista sound should always be your primary, well, whatever your computer is, should be your primary. And if you're going to record a microphone, secondary sound device, I recommend mixing them. Other people uh, like them separate. I don't know how they would line it up perfect or they edit their voice in or whatever. But make sure you're recording the right microphone. Mine's my headset. You don't want to use the microphone built into your speakers. Your logo is uh, that nice little Japanese thing in the bottom corner. It's got to be a PNG file. I mean, you could just go into Paint, draw something in Paint, and save it as a .png. Opacities, you know how clear it is. So this makes it a little see-through, or a little uh, more solid, actually. If it's at 60% opacity, if it's at 100%, I think it's a, like completely see-through. And, of course, where you want your little icon positioned. And this is just uh, a... <laughs> wow. Escape recording while frames not updated. Mm. Yeah, I don't even touch that stuff. Over here is where your main problems are going to be with uh, lagginess. Right here is my settings, but uh, for this purpose, we're going to change it back to default. See here it says full size, 30 frames per second, 80Q stands for quality, and I never mess with the audio. You want an MPEG, and this all works great. A full size really only compares to half size. You either got your full recording style of pixels or you half it. For basic math, if you're recording an 800 600 like I do and you have it on half size, it cuts your pixels to 400 300 and blows up your image. I've actually got footage of that. Now you could also when you hit half size on the preset, that's all that happens is it changes it to half size. You got your low end PC, which records at 15 frames per second, and it really ruins your audio. I tried recording like that, it screwed up my audio. Then you got your YouTube settings, and this must be for other editing. I don't really mess with these. Fixed width, I'll go into that in a little bit, but right here I use. YouTube 720p. But then I go and tweak it a little. So right here, fit height, and you'll remember just a second ago in presets they had fit width. Yeah, that's basically when you film, you want it to have those 800 pixels on the right. Or you want it to have a uh, fit height of 720 pixels so you're always filming in widescreen 720 well, that's what I do as I want to upload all my videos in 720 HD you know for YouTube that's about all my computer can handle 
But right here, your frames per second, you know, when you're recording, I'm never going to hit 30 frames per second. So there's no point for me to be on 30. I usually get between 15 and 20. They don't even have a 20, they jump all the way to 23. So I put mine on 15. If I want to fiddle around with this, you probably got a, most likely got a better computer than me. If you're going to get into filming, fiddle around with 25 and everything else in between. See what works for you. 15 frames per second works pretty good for me. And down to quality. This is pretty much, I think, the sharpness of everything. Uh, most people don't see a difference between 80 and 100, so it's default to 80. Uh, I just drop it a little down to 60. I figure if there's a 20 point difference and it's not much from 80 to 100, it shouldn't be much from 80 to 60. And I've seen a significant increase in the quality when you lower it. Well, I mean, you know, recording quality. You don't get so much lag then. And just don't even touch your audio unless you know exactly what you're doing. So this is what I'm filming in right now. And everything else is literally just capturing pictures and talking about itself, wanting you to pay for just being able to record more than 10 minutes. Not worth it. We're gonna go over now to my Arma. It's got the music playing, a little loud. I usually play with the visibility at a thousand to less, because with the sandstorms you can't see that far anyways. And uh, I put everything on low, default or disabled. With video memory you want it on default. It'll just go by what you have uh, installed on your card. Everything else is pretty much disabled because the game looks fine without all this on. I mean, if you want the shimmering lights and the shadows, you know, keep it on. But it works just fine without it. So, hold on a second. Cannot fire. Ow. That hurt my ears. Okay. <laughs> Now, the main thing about this is you want your interface resolution to match what your computer is set to. But if you have it on windowed, like I am, it just automatically matches it up. So you want to set your resolution in your game to match your display settings, is what I'm saying. So I would play at 800, 600. I'm filming right now this. and. 24 by 768 but if you're going to play full screen you want to match those you don't want to be playing higher resolution in game than what your computer is actually putting out and with 3d resolution i mean i don't understand why it would even let you go to 200 percent but 100 percent will match whatever your interface resolution is at now if you see that i play in 800 by 600 when i'm at 100 percent i only get 679 by 509 because that's because i play windowed mode and that means it's using less pixels than what my actual screen is. So the game is actually running better because it doesn't have to load as many pixels in. And it looks just as fine. And that will actually help increase your FPS when filming. And that's everything I have to teach you. This is Kaizoku, also known as Jesse. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, even dislike. Whatever you want. Later.